Hey everybody, Mike here. So real quick, I wanted to go over this high visibility jacket. This was sent out to me by ProtectX to try out and test. In exchange, I agreed I'd give them a review. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. So I just got this thing out of the bag and got it out here on the workbench. So this is my first time looking at it. Right off the bat here, it looks like a very high quality jacket. It's actually a little bit thicker than I thought it was gonna be. This more resembles more of a coat than it does a jacket, in my opinion. They actually label this as a bomber jacket. Let's go get this thing unzipped. I wanna try this thing on. I went ahead and asked for an extra large because that's usually the size that I wear. And I wanna be able to leave space for a sweatshirt as well and not feel like I was wrapped up in a super tight coat. To give you a reference on size, I am 5'9". I'm around 230 pounds right now. This feels just about the same size as a lot of the extra large coats that I wear. The sleeves here are probably a little on the longer side. Let me see if I can adjust these cuffs up real quick and make that feel a little better on me here. I like the fact that it's got these elastic cuffs here so you can adjust these as well, which makes that kind of nice is if you got real thick gloves on, you can kind of adjust that cuff. That's one thing that really annoys me on like the Carhartts or some of the other jackets like that is they've got those real super tight cuffs. I have a hard time fitting the cuffs of my gloves and my jackets on some of those. It's not super heavyweight. I don't think this is the jacket that you'd probably want to wear if there's negative temperatures out there, unless you're layered up underneath it, of course. But nonetheless, this is something I think I could probably wear through most of the winter, at least in the state that I live in. I'm in the Midwest. We don't see those Arctic temperatures on a daily basis where we live. A couple features on this jacket I thought I'd go over real quick is on this side here you've got a little pocket here that you can store some pins in if you needed to. On both sides of the jacket here you've also got a spot here where you can clip a microphone or a walkie-talkie something like that on there as well. Moving down here we got pockets here on each side they are waterproof pockets they have just a button on them to close them there's not a zipper and then on the inside here I've got a pocket as well it's not super deep and fit a phone or a wallet though pretty easily. On this side here there is nothing. The other thing I want to check out on this jacket is it's supposed to have a hood. Let's see if we can get that thing out of the little storage pouch on the back here see what that's about so the hood on this jacket pretty well resembles kind of like a raincoat feel it's actually just a tad thicker than what i've seen on some of the raincoats that i wear at work this is not going to be a lot of warmth that comes from this hood actually probably feels like it probably be kind of hard to keep on your head unless you actually cinch the drawstring down like so which it does have these little drawstring clips here that you can run up to do so with so honestly i don't know that the hood to me is going to be super useful what's nice about that though is it tucks inside the collar here so if you don't want to use the hood it's just out of the way but if there's a day where you want it or if you got like a light rain going on and you want to throw that hood up you've got the option to do so as well this is also an ANSI certified jacket so if you're out there working on the road and you got to worry about OSHA or any other kind of regulations this is a jacket you can feel comfortable wearing knowing you're meeting all the standards it's got all the reflective stripes in the right places not to mention you can use this thing in the day or at night in either way you go you're good to go with this jacket other than that that's all I've really got for you this actually is a pretty comfortable jacket just sitting here wearing this other than the fact it's about 75 degrees in my shop right now but I'm looking forward to getting this thing out and wearing it I haven't had a jacket like this up until this point because they don't supply them at work I am looking forward to having this this and I have to throw my vest on every single time I get out of the truck. Other than that, that's all I've got for you. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.